Okay, so I'm back, and I have another video of programming a radio. This is the Yaesu FT25. I got this one uh, almost three years ago in December of 2018. It's a single band radio. It's also got a twin, the FT65, which is the dual band version. And you can see the keys are bigger. This is a little bit of a bigger radio than the FT4XR. And the FT4XR also has a single band version, the FT4VR, which I didn't mention in the last video. But anyway, I'll go ahead and just make this kind of a quick video. And um, as you can see, for some reason, even though this is the older model to the FT4, it's got a more modern, I guess, dot matrix type display. And it looks really nice. I mean, the um, six character alpha looks nice on the uh, 4XR too. But yeah, kind of strange that they went backwards. But anyway, with that being said, uh, the programming is straightforward. You just hit the MR like you do with, do with the other one. You see the TUN flashing right there. And then, for example, just hit 161190. Push and hold MR. You see the number flash, and you can use the up and down arrows to select what channel you want it to be in. Press and hold MR again. And you can also see. Um, right when it went into that what you can actually do there is you can also do alpha tags and this is a little bit like I don't know if you noticed but you can see how it's doing the the numbers and that does the uppercase ABC lowercase ABC and back to the number and so on and so forth and you know and all that if you wanted to get back out of that you just hit the zero a couple of times but anyway it'll do that uh, no matter what whatever you hit you'll, it'll start with the number and then see uppercase and then it'll get a lowercase those are for doing alpha tags but if you change your mind on that like I said you just hit that zero a couple of times but yeah so, but I personally don't use alpha tags just because, you know, I'm not a huge fan of them. But anyway, that's that. But for those of you of the younger generation um, that don't know this, older cell phones, you used to have to text that way. You had to push multiple times to get the letter so like if you wanted to get the word cat you would have to do you would have to push the the two three times to get C and then once to get A and then once hit the eight once to get the T and so on and so forth like that kind of thing so this is kind of the same thing but anyway so and then we'll go ahead and program in one more channel. So press and hold MR again. See the TUN? 160590. Press and hold that little MR. And don't want to do the alpha tag, so just go ahead and do this. And there you go, you're in. Now to do the scanning, like I said, it's just like on the FT4 VR and XR. You just you press up to scan forward and down to scan backwards. So, and as you can see, the scan rate is decent. 
same speed just about as as its brother the um, as its smaller brother the uh, Yaesu F2 or F T4 F T4 radio not as fast as some of the older Yaesus or some of the Icoms but faster than the Baofeng. I'd say this thing scans probably around a medium speed. It doesn't miss any transmissions or anything. It's very good at that. It's very good at picking up transmissions so it doesn't miss anything. Uh, Baofengs by comparison are very good at missing transmissions because the scan speed is just so slow. But this does a nice job. But just uh, the FT25, the FT65, the FT4VR, the FT4X are all very good radios. Very easy to program as I just demonstrated by this. And uh, yeah, so just wanted to show that and thanks for watching.